Stefan Siegel was a hero. Is a hero. Stefan Siegel is a man unlike any other. Stefan Siegel is an incredible man. Siegel showed me how to fight. Siegel showed me how to love. Stefan was the definition of a triumph. Stefan Siegel took a shit in my house once. Stefan Siegel was a god amongst men. On today's episode of H1V's Behind the Artist, we feature the legendary cult film star Stefan Siegel. We'll follow him through his glory days to his druggy haze, hearing from some of his closest friends, family, and acquaintances while watching some of his most memorable work. Stefan inspired me to become a mine actress. Actress. Stefan Siegel pinned me three times, right here. Stefan was like a son to me. Siegel's passion for acting first began in his small town Iowa high school as he received several starring roles in Grease, Joseph and the Amazing Technical at Dreamcoat, and a life changing role in Annie as Annie. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I love you. Tomorrow, you're only a day away. After high school, Siegel moved on to the University of Iowa to pursue a career in film and theatre. It was there he met his best friend and fellow collaborator, Jarvis Davis. Siegel and Davis made numerous student-enjoyed films throughout their college careers while performing in many plays. Their senior year was when the big break finally came, however, as the famous indie film Don't Touch Me Yet was discovered by a film scout who thought the touching and surprisingly avant-garde tale about a student who falls in love with a teacher should be translated onto the silver screen. screen adaptation of Don't Touch Me Yet, a critically acclaimed yet horrendously low-grossing film. I don't want to do this anymore. Do what? Hide. You don't have to hide, Trevor. You never did. Still, Siegel gained enough momentum to greenlight a script he and Davis had written in college. A raunchy yet romantic zombie girl fest named Fuck My Brains Out. Siegel was on top of the world, and even had a short fling with international superstar Mandy Moore. However, Siegel's fame couldn't last forever. It was the late 90s when tragedy struck. While starring in the biopic of the Buddhist priest who burned himself alive in the Tibet protest, Davis was burned alive when the safety consultant showed up late to work that morning. Siegel's entire world was shook. Take some pictures for us over here. Come on, movie. Hey, how do you feel about our job? This is dead. Dead. He's dead. He's dead in me. That's what it does, it? Hey, uh, how's your, uh, your latest movie? You know, how's, the fun? How's, how's Ghostbusters 5 coming out, huh? Come on, man. Come on, how's your wife? Why'd Santa Bullock leave you? <laughs> come on, man. Come on, don't get out some time. Come on, come on, what you think? Come on, come on. Hey, I told you to get out my fucking butt! 
With the loss of his best friend, Stefan Siegel seemed to lose any sense of sensibility he had since sensed. His next few movies all proved to be terrible risks, bombing at the box office and ruining his image. films came the controversial ones, namely Larry's Last Cake, a tragic story about an overweight, mentally challenged teen whose only dream is to become a chef. I just want to bake cakes. You'll never be a chef, Larry. You're too overweight and mentally challenged. <laughs> 